What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? And here's the video you've all been waiting for. The one that breaks down how to do comps, how to get comparables, how to find out the value of your house. I'm going to use a uh, subject property here. Um, you can always go to Zillow and get the Zestimate. What's a Zestimate? An estimate with a Z in front of it. So they say it's worth 65000 but we're going to run the comps right now to actually find out what this house would be worth fixed up in 2019 standards. What's the truth? So we know we got a two bedroom, one bath, 1384 square feet. A lot of people talk bad about Zillow, but there's actually some good things that can come off Zillow, like all of this basic information, the lot, it has a detached garage, uh, you know, all this other basic information inside of here. Um, you can also see what it sold for by pushing this price tax history. You can see it was listed, um, look like last October, but it was removed. You can actually go all the way back and see from 2015 and maybe even go back further sometime. So 2015, it was listed and all the way going forward up to current. So last thing status of this house, according to them, um, you know, it was removed on October 8th. So for this particular property, what I would do is I'll go ahead and just copy this address here and uh, I will go to this site called let's see, realestateabc.com, realestateabc.com, an ugly website, but it gets the job done. Um, I will paste that address in here and uh, I would just type in the zip code 63111. That's all they need. They don't need all that typed out. So I'll just paste in there and zip over there. Search. It'll pull up the... Uh, recent sales for this house so they're saying they're basically reflecting what zillow said or showing what zillow does actually say sixty five thousand nine hundred thirty one and that's at forty eight dollars a square foot but we're going to find out if that's real or if that's accurate the way i was taught to do it is to sort this right here to make this go into the square footage so uh, our property is about 1384 square feet so you will look down here who's close to 1384 square feet. Um, this one is, and I guess that's why they say the price is that much, but I wouldn't use this uh, 6321 Alabama per se, because when you look through more of these, you'll see that uh, the address to our house is 7013 Minnesota, and uh, we have a 7426 Minnesota, which is what, three blocks away? That one sold for 90,000, and that's a two bedroom, one bath as well. And it's actually less square footage. Our subject property is 1384. This property is 1272. And that sold for $98 a square foot. Is that right? Let me make sure. That, oh, I'm sorry. $73 a square foot. I guess I should highlight that because, you know, my seeing is bad. So right there, $73 a square foot, which is a lot more. So we want to see how, how was this house that sold for $73 a square foot. So I'll just take that address there. Uh, let's see, copy it, 7426 Minnesota, open it up in another window, and let's do a search. You can straight Google search and it, it'll probably come up on one of those sites, i.e. Uh, Zillow or Realtor. We'll go to Realtor. It shows that the house sold, what did it sell for again? Let me go back and cheat. Uh, this house sold for 89.9 September 18th. Today is April Ninth, so what's that? September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven months ago. So it's pretty recent and it's three blocks away. So if you look over here, this is just to assess the condition of the house. Same thing, two bedroom, one bath. It's a little bit smaller. Looks like it's uh, pretty much updated. So how did this house sell for almost $90,000? Because they look like they put new carpet in there, new paint, a new fresh looking kitchen. You know, this is something, you know, I would want to use this as a comparable more so because this is a recent sale in the same neighborhood, three blocks away from our 7013 Minnesota property address to 7426, which is, you know, just three blocks away. And I mean, does this house look like it's that much better? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. But we know after repair value or the comparables, you know, it's interchangeable. You hear people say it all the time, comps, comparables or a CMA, a comparative market analysis. So we could use this as a potential comp. And it's so for like we said over here, 
89.9. So basically 90 grand. Uh, the only differences I see, this house was built in 1906. This house was built in uh, 1893. So it's about 15 years older. Our subject property that we're trying to buy. Um, the square footage on the land is about the same. 43.56 for this one, 45.30 for that one. But uh, we're just trying to see how can we get our property to be worth $73 a square foot. So if you were to use that as a number, $73 a square foot, you would pull out your handy dandy calculator, just like so, you'll say uh, $73 times, which is the, what's the square footage on here, 1384? So that means this property worth about 100 grand if it was fixed up in that same condition. That's like I say, as long as everything's comparable. So two bedroom, one bath, three blocks away. The only difference really is a little older, but you know, give or take, I think it's worth, you know, closer to that when it's fixed all up in perfect condition because the comps show that. So if we took another subject property and said, well, let's see, what else do they have down here? Um, that's similar square footage to the 1385. Uh, that's close by. This house here, 6323 Minnesota, sold for $124,000 back in November, which is a little bit more recently. Let's take a look at that house. Was that one fixed up to like perfect 2019 standards? Probably. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because this is some quality stuff here. People don't go over this stuff that much. So uh, we'll look at the same site. It looks like real tour. It'll have some pictures. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful house on the front end. And they got 96 pictures. We'll look at the neighborhood around it. Um, we have to see how close this house was to the house where we're looking at. It looked like it was a half a mile away. But this house is gorgeous. Look at those big old rooms. Big old nice rooms, big windows, brand new modern lighting, modern ceiling fan. See, this is updated. See, that's what you want to compare your put your ARV after repair value because the condition of that house, I don't know yet, but that's the whole purpose of this video to figure out the after repair value of a property. So this one's two, this one has an extra bedroom. So, you know, it's a little bit different, but still look how much more it's sold for 120, right? $124,000. And they did that one at $91 a square foot. So, you know, I would want to stay conservative and I would stick to that $73 a square foot which is a lot better than $48 a square foot. Why they put, they show was, this is just showing what Zillow found. So they calculated the same thing at $48 a square foot. That's how they came up with that. We want to calculate it at something that's fixed up. So I don't know. I think when a Zillow does it, they do an average of all the sales, all the junk sales and everything, but you want to do it off comparable sales that sold in the last six months, preferably they say a year, but I say within the last six months and within a, half a mile or in the same subdivision. So up here, I don't know why that's doing that. Uh, we can zoom in on this here. And the property we were just looking at was V over here, 7426 Minnesota, we're using as our comp. V, we know it's three blocks away. Down here, that's our house. One, two, three, about four blocks away. That's our comparable house. Just sold in September. For that ninety thousand, so I would go with more something closer to that, at least ninety thousand, if not a hundred. That's how I would compare that to a recent house that sold nearby. Hopefully, that helps you out when it comes to finding out comparables. Now, if you can find three comps that are you know similar like that and use that as an average, use an average of those three, that would be better. But still, it, it lets you know that stuff is selling in that area for much more than this sixty-five thousand. So that's how you know the zestimate is off on that. I mean, it could give you a guide, but it's really going to make you lower than what it is. So I would use something closer to that 90000 Hope this video helps you out. Like I said, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.